Hello friends, greetings on the Real Facts channel. Today we are going to New Zealand. A local man was preparing for his favorite pastime, fishing. On the beach, he experienced a real shock. Jessica White, her husband, and their 18-month-old child were spending their vacation not far from that place. The parents did everything possible to protect their little son from any dangers. Unfortunately, no matter how people try to avoid any risk, families can be in danger when they least expect it. The young family was about to spend their first night of vacation at holiday camp in Matata, New Zealand. After a long and tiring day at the beach, they went to have a rest in their tent. While Jessica and George were sleeping peacefully, the little boy somehow opened the tent and crawled outside, getting closer to the water with each movement. So the fisherman named Gus was not far from this place. He was enjoying a quiet, pleasant night, listening to music and waiting for some large fish to be caught on his hook. Suddenly, he saw something like a doll in the water. He decided to grab it as he thought that the toy could be expensive. The face of the doll seemed to be made of porcelain, but then suddenly, the doll moved and made a sound. The fisherman cried out in shock, God, this is a child, and he is alive! Gus lifted the child onto his boat and went quickly to the shore, hoping that the child would survive. Although the child was absolutely wet, it seemed he was not badly hurt. Gus ran with the baby in his arms to the campsite. The boy's parents heard screams through a deep sleep, but it seemed to them that the scream was of someone else's child. But after looking at the lists of the residents, the camping duty officer saw that at that time only one family was spending their vacation there who had a child. So it immediately became clear whose child it was. Jessica and George were sleeping all this time, not knowing that their child was about to drown. When the young parents found out about what had happened, they were about to faint. Since then, they always closed the zipper of their tent tightly so that this could not happen again. Fortunately, it was a real miracle that Gus was fishing nearby at that exact moment. If not for him, then undoubtedly the story would have ended in a completely different way, and the child's parents would never have known what happened to him. This case gives us a very important lesson. You must always be careful with little children. Any moment they can do something that you do not expect from them. If this story was useful to you, then share it with your friends and family. I will also be grateful if you share your opinion in the comments. See you later!